Hi, I'd like to show you a fast and easy way to set up your own working Telegram bot. First of all, I do recommend you get Telegram running on your computer, as this is probably going to save you a lot of time later on. You can do this either by logging onto Telegram web in your browser or by downloading and installing the Telegram desktop application. Once you're logged in, search for the service named Botfather, which is responsible for creating and managing your bots. Start the service and create a new bot by pressing or typing slash new bot. Then pick a name and a username by which the bot can be addressed later on. On success, Telegram will provide you with an API token, which is working like a key and can be used to gain full access of your bot. You might want to keep this secret. We can now copy this token and hop into a browser where we're going to type api.telegram.org slash bot paste in our token and slash get updates with a capital U. On this page there is nothing to see yet as our bot hasn't received any updates. Now back to Telegram you can just click on the link the bot father provided you with and start your bot. The bot won't react yet as we haven't written any code but on here you can refresh the page and see there's a first update. For hosting the bot I'm using the service Google Apps Script which is free and works perfectly for smaller web applications. Here we start a new project, enter a name and save it. We are provided with an empty function. First of all we're going to set up a basic demonstration of how to properly format an update. All available options on how to send a message are explained in detail on the Telegram Bot API documentation, which can be accessed here. We are going to name this function send and give it an ID and a text. Sending a message is done by accessing a URL and sending the message as a post request. As you can see here, I picked send message as the method to use, but the Telegram Bot API documentation lists several other methods you can use to interact with your bot which are also explained on here. Now back to our script. Let's first define the API URL. The API URL consists of two parts. First of all, there is https colon double slash api.telegram.org slash bot followed by your bot token and a closing slash. Now let's define the bot token just above. We can copy the token from the bot father. Now let's define the options. The options are going to be an array consisting of a method which is post and our payload which is going to be another array named content. This also now needs to be defined above. For the content of this message there are now several options we can use. For example if you'd like to reply to another message we can send an optional reply to message ID. But for now we just stick with the required ones which is a chat ID and a text. So now to actually trigger an update we need to run this function. For this purpose we're creating a new function named test which will run send with certain attributes. First of all we need our ID which can be found on the get updates page which we opened earlier. On here it's listed below message from ID. As a text we just put in hello world or anything else you like. Now we save the project and we should be ready to go for our first demo and run our test function. Now this script needs access to the internet so we're going to give it permission to do that advanced and go to telegram test bot unsafe because we know perfectly well what this bot does as it's our own script. Now that worked. So now to tell telegram where to send the messages our bot is receiving we need to set a webhook. For that we're just going to define another function. Just like earlier we're going to send a request to the telegram bot API. This time our chosen method is set webhook. Now we don't know this web app URL yet. To get it we need to deploy our script first. So we quickly save the project, click on deploy, new deployment, select type, web app, execute as me, who has access, anyone, and we deploy the web app. Now we're given a URL to copy by which this script can be addressed in future. Don't forget the semicolon. Now, whenever this script is addressed, there's two different functions that can be run. One of which will be do get for get requests. The other one is do post for post requests. Telegram is working with post data, so we need to use this one. The contents of our message are provided within the post request we receive. We are also going to put all of this within a try catch, so whenever something goes wrong, the bot will tell us about it. Here once again we paste our ID and the error as a string. 
To work with the data Telegram is giving us, we need to parse it as JSON. For this, you can check the Telegram bot API documentation under the section Getting Updates. All possible and required contents of a message are listed there and explained in detail. As we can see here, a message is not always provided. For example, inline queries won't have a message. So first of all, we're going to check if our update contains a message. Now let's have a look into the message. A message is required to have a message ID, but does not always contain a text. So we should be checking if a text is present. Also, a message will always belong to a chat and every chat has an ID. So for future usage, we're going to define it here. For this demonstration, let's try to have our bot repeat everything that's said. So now before we can start using our bot, we need to set the webhook. I'm going to log the result of our query so we can see if it worked. Save our project and run the set webhook method. Info, description webhook was set. So if we now try to address our bot, we're going to face a very common problem. Bad request, chat not found. This is due to Google scripts formatting the chat ID as a number, not a string. So to avoid this, we're going to convert our chat ID and redeploy the project. And as we can see, everything is working as planned. Our bot is now up and running and can be customized as you like. Also, the bot father will allow you to pick a profile picture and set a description. If for some reason it is not working for you, please let me know in the comments and I will see if I can help you. My sample code will be linked in the description. Bye!